Yeah, guys. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Deepa, and this is Divine Tarot. So I am here. Yes. So you know that I am doing a series, right? So I am here to talk about a unique astrological transit which is happening in the year 2023, and it's very important. You know, I put it out there. We are already into February, so it's very important. You know, I put it out. Yeah. Right. So I am going to talk about what is the conjunction and what is it happening. It's a very unique thing, and we need to be beware. Yeah, right. So I am um, talking about the Jupiter and Rahu conjunction in the sign of Aries, starting from April twenty second till October thirteenth. Like you know, just that you know, six months, right? Six uh, April to October, good six months. Like a half year is over, right? So firstly, what is Jupiter? What is Rahu? And why am I making this video? Yes. So firstly. Mars is, uh, you know, Aries is a house ruled by Mars. Yes, it's so very like, um, you know, how Aries are very like they are the first. It's the first sign. It's ruled by Mars, and Mars in Scorpio, like the two signs, Mars in Scorpio. Scorpio is ruled by Mars, and you know, Scar uh, Scorpio is also ruled by Ketu. It's co-ruled by Ketu. That's why, for a person to have intuition, you need Ketu. That's a planet that gives. You know, it doesn't have head. So it always thinks, you know, out of the box, yeah. So you always need the power of Ketu to think up, like you to have this, you know, third eye, yes, right. So Scorpions by default have third, eye, you know, the intuition. That's why, or by default, they somehow just sense something is wrong, yeah. So that's why, yeah. Now coming to Mars is a very dangerous planet because it's like a warrior, like you know, a Senadipati just goes in charge, yes, right. Like Scorpion, it's a water sign and it's co-ruled by Ketu, so a little bit it's. You know the karma version. Yes, they have different aspects wherein they take out. Yes, but an Aries is a sign like the Mars has very strong power there. Yes, now Jupiter, Jupiter and Mars are best friends. Yeah, Jupiter apart from Cancer, apart from Sagittarius, apart from Pisces. Yeah, these three are. It's where it gives very good result. It also gives very good result in Aries. It also gives very good result in Scorpio. Like Jupiter is very good if you have that in chart, so it you know it's very good because you know Jupiter is best friends with Mars. Jupiter and Mars have a very unique bond. So right, so in my and twin my twins chart, why are we friends also? Yeah, because I have Jupiter in Cancer, and my twin has Mars in Pisces. So you know the nine and five aspect because Jupiter also has the ninth aspect. So we are also friends. Yeah. So you have this. So for two people to you know be friends and all of that, you have this like the closest of friends. You have any of this match? Yeah, you need the Jupiter and Mars match. Yes, right. For example, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna tell um, you know one of the combinations. Yeah. So I have Mars in Taurus and she has Jupiter in Leo. Yeah. Right, the Mars and you know Mars fourth aspect Jupiter. That's how we are friends. Yes, I think she knows who it, who it is. Yeah, right. She has Moon, Venus, and Jupiter in Leo. Yes, right. So you know that's how you need Mars and Jupiter combination to be friends. Yes, and you know you when you have Jupiter exalted and Mars exalted in Capricorn, then friends, best friends. Yeah. So you are like why you know why Deepa if Jupiter is coming in Aries. So Jupiter is coming in Aries from April twenty second. It's gonna shift. To Aries, yeah, it's gonna be all the way till May twenty twenty four. But why am I making this video? Yes, so this is a very unique combination because Jupiter and Rahu form a yog. It's known as Chandal Yog. Yeah, it's it's a that's a term Chandal Yog. Yes. So why do we need Jupiter and what is Rahu and why this conjunction is very critical and why am I making this video? Yes. So Jupiter and Rahu, yeah, conjunct to form the Chandal Yog. So in anything in astrology, like the time is decided by Saturn, the abundance is decided by Jupiter. Jupiter decides when you buy a house. Jupiter decides when you buy when you get a job. Jupiter decides when you'll have children. Jupiter decides when you'll buy a house. Jupiter a eh, Jupiter decides when you get married. Yeah. So why they say Guru Balam? Guru Balam is a like Guru Guru, like you know Guru ka you know that yoga. In that time only you'll get married. Yes. So that's known as Guru Yoga, yeah? Guru Balam. Balam means strength in Telugu, yeah. So right. So you need that to get married, yeah, because the timing is decided by Saturn. Once it leaves, leaves free, Jupiter comes in role, yeah. So Jupiter. So in your chart, in your chart, if you have a very good Jupiter, you're very humanitarian. You have good values. It's very important to have a good Jupiter, yeah. If your Jupiter is, you know, 
you know like uh, bad like yeah like you know maleficent then uh, gone you don't have good values yeah you are ready to do anything anything and everything jupiter is one such planet in your chart it's very important yeah to have good values to have good principles yeah if you ask me how am i such a you know uh, in the psychic side why i give so much is because my jupiter is exalted yeah right so it's very important for a person to have jupiter good jupiter yeah that such pa person has very good you know values you know good like in this kaliyug you are a very good person yeah right so you are, there are different conjunctions you know based on your own chart and all of that so jupiter is your thought process like what kind of values you know you are a spiritual person now all of this you know with jupiter now rahu rahu is a hypnotist rahu is the snake head like you know where is the exact venom yes rahu is you know um now i'm going to tell yes right so jupiter and rahu this conjunction is known as chandelya which is known as black magician yes if you open any tantric chart and if you see that person will have this conjunction yeah because he is a tantric yes right so this conjunction is known as black magician yeah i call that black magician yes now you'll ask me why is this so the like, critical yeah okay find the conjunction yes this is aspected by third aspect from saturn yeah which is an aquarius that is why it is very critical yeah it's something which i am you know waiting to watch like what will it do yeah so this is known as black magician yoga you will see many people fall in this circle now yeah so i'll tell you know why this is so important yeah Be because people are doing so much bad yeah so who and that's why it's very critical saturn is there to punish yeah right from aquarius because this is aspecting already saturn is aspecting rahu yes and now this jupiter like jupiter lost its power yeah that's why it's very important to be careful and i'm channeling this out from april 22nd to october 30 there are no marriage murat nobody is getting married nothing is happening we wait till october 30 you wait yeah because it's going to rahu has to leave to pisces so rahu um, travels anti clockwise so it goes from taurus to aries from aries to pisces from pisces like yeah just the anti clockwise the ketu just you know it's it's a same part like you know you know rahu if it comes in pisces ketu will be in virgo like you know they just go like this both together yes so it's anti clockwise thing yeah so rahu has to jump to pisces yeah it's very important so this is known as black magician yoga and i call you like it's the terminology is chandal yoga but you know if somebody has for example my karmic had jupiter and rahu in the first house for example first house is known as first house is known as like your personality what is your mentality so yeah so your mentality is fucked up that's why you're doing shit yeah so it's very easy to crack because you know astrologer can crack you know if this person is genuine if this person is cheat it's very easy to crack yeah so it's very important yes for example if you have in second house this yeah in jupiter rahu that person will do any kind of shit to accumulate money in their bank because second house talks about bank balance yeah and i've seen that anybody who has jupiter and rahu in second house you know open a food restaurant and you know they sell they sell you know dog meat as chicken meat i have seen people do this 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 anything related to food money any form of source is fine so there the mentality is fucked up this yog yeah right it's very important yeah that i channel this out because you know my channel also talks about you know i am making this series videos of every topic and this is very important you be careful from april 22nd to october 30 you do not believe anybody you do not believe anything because we do not know because hypnotism rahu talks about hypnotism so you know if your ex is coming back you know if you have a friend coming back that you know they are sorry there may be there may be some reason behind they want your money x y z reason just to place it yeah so april 22nd to october 30 we all be careful we do not know yes this is something very unique because it's aspected by saturn there is something very critical this is you know i think black this tantrics will make more money <laughs> yeah this is the black magician yo yeah so it's very important people will do shit yeah people are not in the right frame of mind they are okay for anything and everything yeah so it's very important i make this video because we beware yeah it's a very dangerous yoga and astrologically i'm waiting because you know we don't know what's happening 
so you be careful in this time you do not believe anybody you do not you also be careful when you make any transactions any bank transactions when you give money when you do x y z and trust me in this murat that's why you know people are rushing up the wedding because you know after april 22nd there is nothing where jupiter is with rahu as expected by saturn where is the marriage you yeah so you wait till october 30 good 6 months are gone and this is the year ruled by ketu yeah seven right so we be aware we be careful yeah um, you know and saturn all talks about karma there is some punishment yes it's a punishment you know to the bad obviously so we leave the punishment to saturn yeah no need to curse no need to cast no need yeah right so jupiter and rahu it's a very very critical role yeah and mix and it will be the toughest from the you know in any sign jupiter stays for good 2 3 months like the nakshatra so i am waiting to see from april to june to july what is it going to do yeah right so in every ascendant if you are aries ascendant it is happening in your first house it's going to fuck up your health first right and if you are taurus ascendant it's happening in your 12th house beware of court cases yeah 12th house all talks about you know court talks about you know it talks about you know um 12th house also talks about like your legs you may have an accident we do not know yeah right and for gemini it's happening in your 11th house to so be careful about the business you start yes and i am gemini ascending and be careful about the friends circle you you know uh, you are in and also be careful about you know jupiter and rahu 11th house also talks about you know your brother it also talks about your friends it also talks about name and fame so you may have a sudden boost of name and fame yes right in like you know everybody is talking you i know why people are going to stalk me yes my friends also know yes right so then we have in cancer which is your 10th house be aware of your work colleagues 10th house all talks about work work colleagues yes then you have leo ascendant so i am just giving a one liner like what overall you need to be careful yes so in leo ascendant it's happening in your 9th house don't get you know be careful of you know 9th house all talks about foreign travel like you may be stopped at an airport yeah something you know like anything like you know maybe you're holding to onto some drugs we do not know ninth house all talks about you know foreign travel so you may be caught in an airport yes and in virgo ascendant it's happening in your eighth house you have to be careful about your health eighth house also talks about you know your you may you may have a you know, also talks about your private parts so you may have something that will fuck up your you know you know be careful about whom you sex yeah Virg virgo ascendant yes then you have the libra ascendant be careful of your seventh house happening in your 7th house your husband yeah if you're not married then you know your suitable somebody you know some shitty guy will come and you may jump into marry 7th house life partner yes then you have scorpio ascendant it's happening in your 6th house be careful about the job you'll join yeah because 6th house all talks about job it's a job house virgo uh, you know scorpio ascendant it also talks about your health you have to be careful about your health 6th house also talks about your health yes and it also talks about your job life like you may you may make the wrong friends if you are joining a new job yes and then you have in you know your sagittarius ascendant fifth house lover yeah fifth house all talks about love if you are married and you have kids your child your first child yeah you, he may get stuck in some xyz like you know how uh, shahrukh khan aryan khan yeah example that yes right and then in capricorn ascendant you have in your fourth house your house your house may catch a fire yeah so house the fourth house like like suddenly you know your parents may kick you out of the house fourth house all talks about you may have a a corrupt heart like you know suddenly a change of heart yeah it happens yeah we are human six months you may be in trauma and again bounce back to originality capricorn ascendant then you have you know your aquarius ascendant it's happening in your third house your sister your brother siblings third house and you know your neighbors your neighbors may rob you yeah so right so neighbors uh, third house talks about you know siblings your brother sister may do some shit and you may be you know you may have signed as witness and it may fuck up you yeah and then coming to the pisces certain ascendant happening in your second house you be careful about your food what you're putting in maybe you you know suddenly you start doing drugs yeah it because it's happening in your second house so this is the overall transit you be careful and all of us are in the circle including me including you we are all in the circle yes and i have to be careful because people are going to stock up me like crazy 11th house all talks about stocking it talks about you know following and it has happened to me a lot like you know people following me yeah it can happen so i need to be careful i'm telling about my point also because you know i'm also in the mix we we are all like in every 
see all 12 like where is it happening we are all in this mix so yeah so we beware from april 22nd to october 30 good six months yeah be careful about your bank transactions be careful about what you're sharing uh be careful about everything everything and anything yes right so on that thought i'll be back with another content with another topic i'll see you guys in the next video this is deepa bidding a bye bye guys